Example number four also contains decimals. The first thing I'm going to do is step one, label the X and Y in your table. So I come over to the problem and the top row represents the X values and the bottom row represents the Y values. So that means that zero, five, and 11 are all X values and zero, 12.5 and 27.5 are all y values. Step two says to choose a coordinate, so I'll do that next. Remember, you can't use zero, zero to find the unit rate because zero divided by zero gives you undefined. So don't use zero, zero to find the unit rate. And then I'm going to choose this set those are smaller numbers than the 11 and 27.5. And then I'll type this point, this coordinate, 5 comma 12.5. And then I move on to step three, which is label the coordinate. So I've chosen the coordinate, now I'm gonna label the coordinate. The five is X, the 12.5 is Y. And then I move from the five over to the words and five represents games five games, and then the 12.5 represents, I scroll over to points is what it represents, so 12.5 points. And then step four, fill in the unit rate formula. So I'm ready to find the unit rate, and also from there I can figure out the equation. I draw an equal sign, I draw a fraction bar, I write the word per to go with that fraction bar, and then I grab a, a new color, and I'm looking first for the Y value. And I look over here, and the Y value is 12.5 points. So that's what I'm going to type in the numerator, 12.5 points. And then I'll switch up the color. And now I'm looking for the denominator, which is the X value. And the X value is five games. So I'm going to type five games in the denominator. When you look at this now, it's a rate, but it's not a unit rate until the denominator is one. So we need to divide to change it to a unit rate. The numerator goes underneath the division symbol. So it's 12.5 divided by, and then the denominator goes on the outside. When we're dealing with decimal division, all you need to look at before you start is the number on the outside. If you don't see a decimal within the number, then you don't have to make a change with the decimals. You're allowed to have a decimal in the, in the numerator, the number that's underneath the division symbol. So we actually can go ahead and divide this without changing anything with the decimals. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this decimal up to the top it's very important that we keep lining up all of our numbers properly so that the decimal doesn't end up in the wrong place. That's a common mistake that I see on students' papers. Now we ask ourselves, five goes into one, zero times, the answer goes at the top. Five goes into 12, two times. Two times five, the multiplication part, two times five is 10, goes beneath the 12 and you subtract it from the 12 and get two, then I cannot ask the question again until I bring down a number. Once I bring down the five, I ask the question, how many times does five go into 25? The answer to that question you put at the top. The answer is five. Five goes into 25 five times because five times five is 25. And then I subtract. I get a remainder of zero and there's no other numbers to bring down. So my answer is 2.5. So I'm going to come over here and record the unit rate as 2.5 and it'd be PPG, which represents points per game. And then from there, I'm gonna fill in this equation and I'm gonna start by writing Y equals KX. And then instead of K, remember K stands for the word constant because the unit rate is constant in a proportional equation. So if I would have used this point, I also would have gotten 2.5 since the unit rate is the same throughout. So I'm gonna take out this K, which represents the unit rate, 
and I'm going to replace it with what we found the unit rate to be, which is 2.5. So the equation is y equals 2.5x. The unit rate is 2.5 uh, points per game.